Hey guys, in this video I wanted to do a quick and like really simple introduction to RStudio, specifically talking about how to import data. That's pretty much all I'm going to show in this video. And again, specifically I'm talking about how to import it using the GUI. And I'll just give you some like information about importing data into RStudio in general as I go along. So this is kind of like a video geared towards people whose first time it is using RStudio. All right, so there's a GUI. If if you go to tools, import data set, and then if you have a file um, saved to your computer, you can click from local file and then it'll show your documents, ignore all the random folders I have, and then I'm just going to pick a CSV file. So one of the first things I wanted to say about this GUI was, or RStudio in general, is there are a couple different file extensions that you can import into RStudio. If you have one that's like a weird extension in particular, you can probably look up, you know, online if R can import it. This particular GUI, you'll see after I click import, it produces a R code called read.csv. So read.csv is a command that can read obviously .csv files. So that's comma separated value files. The one that I just imported reg test is a comma separated value file. So as you can see here, the commas separate or act as separators in the file and then it produces commas when you import it. So read.csv the command and this GUI can import CSV files and also dot text files, so .txt. Now, if you're importing files from an Excel sheet, for example, you can open it in Excel and save your file as .csv and then run this command, that's fine. If you try to import using the GUI a dot, like an Excel extension, so .xlsx or whatever the newer extension is, this GUI will not work. You can still import it into R. There's a code read.xlsx, but you're going to have to run write the code out, you can't use the GUI. Okay, so anyway, going back to this file, so as you can see here, it has a little preview window, so you just want to check that it is going to import it correctly. It looks like it is. This name, the name that they automatically fill in is the one that, the way you save the file. So you can change that if you want to. This is fine. The heading, yes or no, that just asks you if you have head, if the original data file has headers. So in a lot of statistics files, the first row is going to not be actual data, it's going to be information about the columns and the and the data that that follows. So in this case, I do have headers, so I'm going to leave that as yes. If you don't have these headers in your data file, obviously you click no. This is fine. As you can see, this is comma, so that's fine. Decimal, that's just asking if you have periods for decimals. Uh, I live in the United States, so that's how we do it. Um, in other countries, they sometimes use commas, so that's fine. I don't have any quotes, but if you do, you can select double quote or single quote. I don't have any comments either in my data. This is also important. So if you have a data or data file with missing values, you don't want to leave those empty and you don't want to put those as zeros. You want to put those as NAs if possible. And so the NA strings, that's going to be left alone. Actually, this file doesn't have any empty data either. So we're good to go. We can click import and you'll see that this runs that code, This these two lines of codes in the console. So I'm going to just copy it and paste it here. So the code that was run, like I said, was csv.csv and it assigns it using this assignment operator to a variable that was created called reg test. So again, it just gets that name from the file name that I imported and it picks up the file from the local computer. And then the second line of code that it runs automatically is view in parentheses reg test and that just produces this data frame. So you've imported the data successfully and you can see it's in your environment window as well. One more thing I would say is that for R, you always have to attach your data frame or your data after you import it. So for example, if you try to run a regression, if you look at my data, I have, uh, for example, left thalamus proper and say I want to regress that on age. Okay, so left thalamus proper regressing on age. If you um, highlight a line and click control enter, it'll run in the console. So I'm just going to do that. As you can see, we have an error. So our studio won't recognize the data you just imported because you always have to also add the code attach and then the name of the data frame. So I'm going to run that. All right, the data is attached. Now, if I try to run this same line, it works. So you see, so you, ha you can't 
actually access the data until you attach it, which I think they should have included in the GUI, but they didn't. So anyway, that's all I'm going to put in this video. Um, I think if anyone has any, you know, if you want me to make a video about anything in RStudio in particular, maybe I can make a series about RStudio. So leave me a comment below if you want to see anything. Okay, thank you. Bye.